The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra offers a moderate upgrade over its predecessor, the S23 Ultra, which itself wasn't a significant improvement over the S22 Ultra. Surprisingly, around 15% of users are choosing to stick with their current Galaxy S phones, while a similar percentage is considering alternative flagship options. One major deterrent for potential buyers is the high cost of the S24 Ultra, which surpasses the already expensive 2023 version in most markets. Despite the hefty price tag, there are some positive aspects to the S24 Ultra, including its flat display and the well-received Gorilla Glass armor. Samsung's decision to continue using Snapdragon processors is seen as a positive move, although there is anticipation around the performance of the Exynos variant. The S24 Plus has also seen a price increase in some regions, but the savings compared to the Ultra make it a more attractive option for some users, especially considering its similar features. However, the Samsung Galaxy S24, the standard version, is not viewed as a compelling upgrade for users with older vanilla phones. The device has the benefit of 7 years of support and an LTPO display, but the 8128s of a gigabyte storage configuration is criticized for feeling limiting, especially when considering the long-term usability and accommodating 7 years worth of updates, apps, and files. Additionally, the absence of a RAM upgrade, unlike the S24 Plus, is seen as a drawback. Despite these concerns, the Samsung Galaxy S24 series is gaining popularity in South Korea and India, with one Korean carrier reporting that a significant 60% of pre-orders are for the S24 Ultra. It remains to be seen how the series performs in other markets, but early indications suggest strong demand for the Ultra model. If you've purchased one of these phones, feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section. Thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates.